If you want a tour through the new 2015 In Colors from Stampin' Up, stay tuned and I'll show you around. Hi, this is Sage Kimball and I'm the Mad Stamper with another video on color tips for card makers and paper crafters. It's always exciting when Stampin' Up adds a new set of In Colors to their palette. But it can be hard to get a sense of what the colors really look like, how they compare to other colors, and which ones they combine with best. I've created a set of sample cards using the new ink colors and I'll show you how I arrived at these color choices. Let's start the tour with Tip Top Taupe. This is a beautiful neutral, kind of a mix of gray and brown with a rosy tinge to it. It goes well with most colors but especially ones that will enhance its rosiness. So in the neutrals it's closest to crumb cake although it's darker and even rosier than crumb cake. So maybe crumb cake with a hint of chocolate chip in it. It will go with all of these browns quite well, except that soft suede tends to end up looking a little green next to it. Tip Top Taupe shows off pastels of all hues very nicely and is especially harmonious with cool colors, meaning ones that have a lot of blue in them, as they enhance the rosiness of Tip Top Taupe. It combines well with all of the blues and greens as well as the reds, pinks, and purples. I tend to choose the ones with more blue than yellow for example, wild wasabi rather than old olive. I just find that cooler colors create a more flattering combination than the more yellow colors. For my sample card, I chose to combine it with Soft Sky and Lost Lagoon. It flatters the pastel Soft Sky and the blue tones accentuate the taupe's rosiness. Now let's look at Watermelon Wonder. This is a lovely bright pink with a lot of orange in it. So it could be sort of a mix between Calypso Coral and the recently retired Strawberry Slush. You can see it just sort of fits in the spectrum there. It works well with the same colors that Tip Top Taupe works with because there's this rose tinge to it. So the cooler greens and blues purples and pinks and even the reds will all bring out the vibrancy of Watermelon Wonder. For my sample card I combined it with Blushing Bride, Rose Red, and Sahara Sand. Mint Macaroon or Macaron however you say it is a soft pastel green with a lot of blue in it. When I first saw it, I thought it might be very close to pistachio pudding that just retired, but when I got them next to each other, I can see it's quite different. It's much more blue and not as light, so it doesn't have as much white in it as pistachio pudding. And let me show you an interesting thing. Next to blues, mint macaroon looks quite green and next to greens it tends to look quite blue. It acts as a recessive color in that way, changing readily next to the colors that it's combined with. It goes well with most of the same colors that Watermelon Wonder and Tip Top Taupe complements. In fact, it's lovely with both of these new colors. For my sample card, I chose to combine it with Wisteria Wonder and Elegant Eggplant, where it has made Wisteria Wonder look more vibrant than usual. Wisteria is also a recessive color and can end up looking quite gray with more dominant colors. I hope you're enjoying looking at the 2015 in colors this way and that you're getting some ideas about combining them with other colors. Be sure to watch part two where I'll show you tips on using and combining Delightful Dijon and Cucumber Crush. You can see from this video that when I look at a color, I'm always assessing what colors were combined to make it. Like I showed you with Watermelon Wonder and Tip Top Taupe. When you look at colors this way, you'll gain confidence in choosing and combining them for beautiful handmade cards and paper craft projects.
You can learn more about how to see colors this way in the online class, Use Colors Like a Pro, Color Theory Made Simple for Paper Crafters. Use the link under the video or click on the I in the top corner of the video player. Thanks for watching. Now it's time for you to do your part. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment. For more inspiration and instructions, be sure to sign up for my newsletter at www.stampingmadly.com. And don't miss another great video. Subscribe to the Mad Stamper YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button now.